4-1 Weather with Damian Lotus. Well, the weather today was cloudy and cold. We even got to see some snow flurries in northern parts of the state. But thank you so much to Miss Buchanan's third grade class from Grand Elementary School in Chickasha. So let's break down the chance of winter weather here as we head into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're gonna, that's what we're going to talk about right now. Forecast confidence here for this event coming up. I'm fairly confident in the timing of this event. It's going to start early on Friday. It's really going to ramp up into Saturday and then start to taper off early on Sunday. I'm also fairly confident about the location of this event. If you're anywhere near I-44 and north, it's looking like we're going to see some winter weather, primarily snow. But as far as are you going to see snow, ice, or freezing rain? And how much of that snow, ice, or freezing rain are you going to see? I'm not that confident about the forecast just yet. We still have a lot of information to go over. That's why the, uh, the amount right there is negative as far as negative confidence, right? So this is why this is so tricky. The atmosphere, think of it as a cake. Lots and lots of layers. If that entire atmosphere is above freezing, then what happens is all of that snow that starts off really high up in the skies, it falls down. Once it gets into this area that's above freezing, it all melts. And if that above freezing layer goes all the way down to the ground, then it melts and stays melted and falls as rain. The other easy scenario is if the entire atmosphere is below freezing, because then if it falls as snow, it stays below freezing, so it never gets a chance to melt. So it stays snow all the way down to the ground. Those are the ideal situations. But what we're looking at as we head into this weekend is it's looking like we're going to see one of those layers of that cake of the sky is going to be above freezing. So it'll start off as snow, melt and then by the time it falls out of that melting layer it'll refreeze and depending on how thick that frozen layer is to the ground it'll either fall as sleet if it has enough time to freeze or if it doesn't it still falls as liquid especially if the ground is cold it could fall as frozen rain and even become ice so that's why this forecast has been so tricky here these past couple of days so here let's go ahead and start it off early on friday there's that freezing line pushing its way to oklahoma city early friday 3 a.m it's looking like we could see some flurries even some light drizzle possible here across oklahoma city and southern oklahoma just good old-fashioned drizzle here close to that freezing line including oklahoma city we could see some frozen drizzle even some ice accumulation we just got to figure out where this freezing line is going to be because right now the models are showing it's through Oklahoma City south of I-44 but if it's 50 miles to the north it's just going to be rainfall here in Oklahoma City if it's 50 miles to the south we could see snow that's why this forecast has been so hard to hammer down these past couple of days good news is what the models are showing is that that freezing line recedes on Friday so anything that does fall and freeze early on Friday it's looking like it'll have a chance to melt as we head throughout the day on Friday but then all bets are off as we head into Saturday, starting midnight on Saturday, looking like some good old fashioned rainfall and a lot of it in southern Oklahoma. And then as this transitions into the day on Saturday, 8 a.m., white as snow, green as rain. And that's pretty easy to see for northern Oklahoma, southern Oklahoma. But this little area right there of pink, that's where we're going to see the hardest part to forecast because that's that transition zone between rain and snow so this could be ice this could be sleet this could be freezing rain that's what we're going to be watching here for the next couple days and it continues to push its way down but then saturday afternoon for oklahoma city for everyone out there wanting some snow it's looking like that's what we're going to see here saturday afternoon and then by sunday morning all that's going to make its way out of the state and then hey sunday afternoon monday morning it's looking like we're going to see that sunshine make a return of the forecast so pretty difficult forecast here to hammer down over the next couple days but for that seven day forecast tomorrow wednesday Partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the 40s, a shallow cold front pushes its way through on Thursday. Temperatures are going to dip back down into the 30s with some strong northerly winds. As we head into Friday, we'll see that 40% chance of some early morning drizzle, possibly frozen. We'll watch it. And then, yeah, I'm calling it right now, 100% chance of some snowfall on Saturday. Just how much we see, we're going to hammer that down here in the next couple of days. Once again, the confidence for that isn't very high right now. And it's just, it all depends where that warm layer, like the cake in the atmosphere stripe. is. Yes, that's that where it's going to be. Stripe. So we're going to watch it and we'll keep you forewarned. I know I saw some flurries earlier today, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm prepared for it at this yeah. point.